What's up everybody, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another light painting video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I created this image right here. The tools that I used for this image are the color hoods from light painting brushes. I used the red color hood and the yellow color hood, both with the Coast G26 flashlight attached via the universal connector. I also used the Soonfire DS30 flashlight with a universal connector, a custom screw-on color filter that I call Fire, which is just some red and yellow gels, all attached to the black fiber optic. For the light writing, I used the mini plexiglass diamond attached via the universal connector to another Soonfire DS30 flashlight. The settings for this image were ISO 100 F11 shooting on bulb mode. I captured this one on my Canon 6D Mark II with the Sigma 24 to 105 lens. Just a little on the process here, I am shooting this on a giant white canvas. This is basically a sheet stretched out over some 2x4s. This is the sheet technique that was invented by Jason Reinhardt. I'll link a tutorial to the sheet technique in the description of this video. To create the silhouette of the angel that you'll see in this image, I have a mannequin in the back that has some big angel wings on it and I'll be shining light behind that mannequin into the camera to create this silhouette effect. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get set up. I'm going back behind the screen here. As you can see, I'm standing behind the screen shooting light directly towards the camera. Starting the exposure. Now I'm writing out the end is near using the mini diamond plexiglass putting the point of that plexiglass right up against the canvas here. I am writing backwards because the image is gonna be flipped in the camera. So for it to say the end is near, I need to write this out backwards. Now just grabbing the color hoods to create the silhouette of the angel. The angel is in place here and what I'm doing is standing back behind the angel projecting that light from behind to create that silhouette on the canvas that you're seeing there. I'm using the red and yellow color hoods at the same time, going all around the mannequin, really trying to get a defined edge on those wings on either side. So I'm going all around the wings, up and down the mannequin's body, all around the other wing to really create that silhouette of this angel in this image. I love the way this looks, the creative process of this, just being able to see this come to life and the way the angel looks. The exposure on the camera is running the entire time. So the movement is not getting picked up. Just that silhouette will be in the still image in the end here. Now I'm using the black fiber optic with that screw on color filter. The fire filter that I created is simply one of the do-it-yourself color filters and I've taken some red, orange, and yellow gels and put them down inside the filter to give the color that you're seeing there at the ends of the black fiber optic. I've got a full tutorial that I'll also link below showing how to create this fire effect using the fiber optics and the screw-on color filters. So all I'm doing now is just kind of pressing that light up against the canvas from behind giving this fiery effect throughout the entirety of the canvas. I really want to fill the frame here. This is doing two things. It's creating two different textures of light. So you're going to get some of that light spill that's going to fill the area with light, but then you're also getting that other texture of light from the points of light that you're seeing there. From behind the canvas, I'm taking the light and pointing it directly onto the canvas. So the light is shining at the camera. The most important part here is that I'm trying not to go over anywhere that the silhouette is. So I'm trying to stay on the outside edges of the mannequin, trying to stay on the outside edges of the wings. It's really gonna be impossible for me to not fill some of that, but I'm trying to generally stay out of those shadow areas and only fill up that outside edge. I like a little bit that spills in to the silhouette itself. It kind of makes it blend in better but generally I'm just trying to stay on the outside of the silhouette itself. Just for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this last part up, but what I'm doing is going through the entire frame, just filling this frame with light. And that is the end of that exposure, and this is the image that we created. 
Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please do give me the thumbs up. Any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. I will answer anything that I can. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.